Welcome back to part three. I've already shampooed and conditioned using the extra creamy moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. Always make sure you have heat protectant on your hair. And today we're going to be using the extra creamy hair cream. This is a fantastic styler that has a nice hold and grip when I pull out my natural curls with the blow dryer and also a wonderful bounce when I use the curling iron to give it the beachy waves. So I'm gonna make sure that's evenly distributed, a light amount of that, comb it through with a pick, put my blow dryer on low setting, since my silvers are fragile and you don't wanna put a lot of heat on them to not turn them yellow. I wanted to take a moment and just show you the new growth that I have gotten using the Strength Hair Oil. Actually, all my hair is new growth because I've been using this for my entire silver transition grow out. But all of these pieces that are <laughs> new here make my hair super thick uh, like this. <laughs> so I love it. And right here, I'm going to use the wand blow dryer on a low setting just to smooth it out before I hit it with a curling iron. I don't want to have the curling iron sitting on my silvers for any more time necessary, again, so that it does not yellow my silvers. There we go. So it's smoother now. And yes, this is quite the process. So I'm thankful that when I do shampoo and condition my hair using the Sweet Potato Pie Collection, that I can get a good seven to 10 days wear. Um, Cause as you can see, this is quite the process. I don't wanna be doing this often. And I'm just thankful that my hair stays clean and not oily using the Sweet Potato Pie Collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the curling iron all the way around uh, my hair in little ringlets. I do need to come in close to the hairline because of all the brand new hair that I have. If I don't, then I have little frizzy roots and curly ends, and that's not the look I'm trying to accomplish. <laughs> so curl all sections, and then I'm going to be at the top, my final section here, and I do switch over to a flat iron, but again, use it on a nice low setting just for caution, especially up front with that white piece on my bang area. And I try to move quickly because with the sweet potato pie hair cream, it really gives a bounce, as you'll see with this piece here. And so if I don't want to look like Shirley Temple, I need to move pretty quickly and then pull out. <laughs> you see that little boing? I love it. So it holds a nice curl as well. But I'm going to come down at the roots, straighten out all the new baby hair, and then just pull it through to make it nice and shiny and smooth with a little curl and then immediately run my hands through to pull out that curl so it's not super curly at my bang area. And that's it, I've done all of the hair now. And during the week, if my hair becomes dull in any way, I absolutely love the hair and scalp oil that I put a tiny pea size amount and rub through for a beautiful shine. Thank you so much for being with me in this three-part series using the Sweet Potato Pie Collection.